What's up everyone, Carter here, and today we're gonna talk about the stock market. We're gonna talk about what stocks I'm currently invested in at age 19. And I just wanna give you a quick little rundown of my experience investing in the stock market. Now I think this is a super, super important aspect of taking money that you already have and putting it into a, you know, a safe investment. I think this is super important, especially for young people and I've been looking to diversify some of the different content and topics that I talk about on my channel regarding finances, and I thought investing would be a perfect, perfect new topic to begin. Now, before we get any further into the video, I just want to disclose and put a little disclaimer out there that in no way, shape, or form am I an expert, licensed financial advisor. I'm in no way, shape, or form am I an expert when it comes to investing in the stock market. But over the past couple of years as a teenager, I've learned a lot when it comes to investing, and that's exactly what I want to share in this video. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, I'm currently 19 years old, but I've actually been invested in the stock market since late 2014. And it's actually a very interesting story on how I got started. So it's a couple days leading up to Christmas 2014. You know, I'm 14 years old at the time. Most kids my age are asking for, you know, a new Xbox or a PlayStation or video games or new shoes. I was a little bit of a strange kid. I approached my parents a couple days before Christmas. They've been asking me what I wanted. And I was like, you know, I want some, I want some money that I can buy stocks with. And they just kind of looked at me, and I'm sure behind the scenes, like, you know, we got a bit of a weird kid. But, I mean, there's no hurt in investing in the stock market when you're young. So, um, I, the money that I collected, I ended up getting a stock account under my dad's account, and I told him I wanted to buy some stocks. So, at that time, I'll try to throw some screenshots up here um, to get kind of give you guys a better visual of what stocks I was buying into, what I bought them for, when I bought them, um, just to give you guys a little bit of a better understanding. But at that time, I think I bought one eBay stock, a PayPal stock, a Disney stock, and a Nike stock. So I think that equaled to anywhere around maybe $200 total um, in value across those different companies. At the time, I was an eBay seller, so that obviously I trust, I love the platform. So I bought an eBay stock. I bought a PayPal stock because that was the payment processor for eBay. Um, I bought a Nike stock because I was an athlete. I loved wearing Nike. Then Disney. I was just like, you know what, it's an upcoming company. Uh, and those stocks made me some pretty good money. I mean, I haven't sold the stock yet, so I technically haven't made it, but the price has definitely gone up. Now, I know a lot of you probably clicked on this video because it involves the stock market. And over the past three to six months, the stock market has been an absolute roller coaster. No one really knows what's going to happen. There's obviously no way you can predict the market, but I think it's pretty valuable to kind of talk about how I've played it over the past three to six months, different investments that I've made, when I made them, different companies that I've bought. So if you're someone who is a beginner investor or potentially looking to take some money that you have just sitting in your bank account and put it into some different companies and stocks and cr start creating and making some compound interest, I highly recommend you stick through the next three to five minutes in this video because I'm actually going to break down the exact companies that I bought, the exact industries, what I bought them for, and how it's gone for me so far, even with all the craziness happening in the world right now. So over the past couple of years, I've just been kind of on and off when it comes to investing in the market. Um, I'm playing more of a long-term game, so I'm only hopping in there every two or three months. Um, taking in the you know money that I've generated through my different businesses and then putting it through different companies. Now I have my phone with me right here because I'm actually going to go through the exact stocks that I currently have in my account. Now I was able to talk to some very high income, high level people that have had plenty of experience investing in the market. Um, I was just asking them you know what industries were hot right now or that were good investments long term. And the first industry they mentioned were airlines. Now, when the virus came, the airlines just absolutely tanked. I mean, they were at the, the year's lowest price points. And to me, I saw that as an opportunity. You know, I looked at it like, hey, you know, right now or maybe over the next couple of months, you know, airlines probably aren't going to be too hot. People aren't going to want to be flying anywhere. It's just not the best right now. But I always I'm investing for the future. You know, I'm putting my money in and I'm keeping it long term. A lot of people are trying to play this, you know, I'm a day trader, you know, I'm going to put all my money in one stock this day, then the next day I'm going to sell it and cash out. That is risky, risky business. You can do that, 
but I mean, your investments are going to be like a 50-50 split, and long term, it's just a not, it's not a smart way to invest your money. So if you ever hear me talking about stocks, I'm talking about buying and holding for the long term. Now, I ended up buying stock, um, I spread it out across 10 of the bigger airlines. Um, some of those were Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, United Airlines Holdings, American Airlines, Alaska Air Group, JetBlue Airways, SkyWest, Spirit Airlines, Allegiant Travel, and Hawaiian Holdings. Um, so those are 10 of the bigger airlines. Like I mentioned, I didn't want to take my large sum of money and put it into one specific airline because what if that airline tanked? You know, I'm out. I want to spread it out across as many companies as I can. Um, and those have done pretty well for me. Um, when I bought them, I don't remember the exact date. I'll put some screenshots and stuff up there. Um, but they've definitely rose. And long term, I see it being a great, great investment. Then I got a little bit into the hotel industry. I knew that it had taken it had taken a big hit because once the obviously once the virus came, you know people weren't flying anywhere, people weren't traveling as much. So some of those bigger hotel chains were taking a big hit. They were definitely losing a lot of money. And once again, I saw that as an opportunity for the long term to invest in some of these bigger hotel chains. So I put a lot of money into Marriott, Hilton, Wyndham, Hyatt, and Choice Hotels. Um, obviously, there's a bunch of other great companies out there, but those are the five bigger ones um, that I saw good potential in. So I put some pretty good money into those. And then the last two categories, um, I wanted to put into something that was a little bit different, um, something that I kind of had passion or interest for, or maybe potentially saw another opportunity. The first one were cruise lines. Now, I kind of saw this as more of a riskier investment because I didn't know the next time that people were going to be packing into massive cruise liners, especially with everything going on in the world right now. Um, but I decided to take a little bit of a calculated risk and put some money into some of the bigger cruise lines. Um, the top three that I put into were the Royal Caribbean Cruises, um, Carnival Cruises, and then Norwegian Cruise Lines. Um, their stock prices were apps. They were at like the bottom, bottom. Like they they tanked bad. So I put a pretty good amount of money in, and those have kind of been stagnant over the past few weeks to past few months as, as well. Um, like I mentioned, everything I'm investing in, I'm holding for the long term. So I see over the next two to three to five years. Um, those stocks being at a really nice price point. So the final category that I decided to invest in were casinos. Now, I've personally been to a lot of casinos. I know how much money they're collecting. They took a little bit of money from me. I'm not a big gambler or anything. I think it's fun. Um, that's why I kind of wanted to put some money into it because I know Vegas. God, they make a ton of money. And with nobody traveling, Vegas is dead. They closed the casinos. I mean, those casinos are taking huge, huge hits right now huge hit. So I saw it once again as another opportunity. So I ended up investing in four of the bigger casino enterprises, um, mainly in the Vegas area, or actually I think they're probably nationwide. Um, but I put in some into MGM Resorts International, the Las Vegas Sands, Wynn Resorts, and then Caesars Entertainment Corporation. Once again, I just decided I'm going to take a calculated risk. I'm going to hold these long term. And as everything kind of settles, people start traveling more, people start gambling more, those stock prices will continue to rise. So obviously I don't wanna make this video too long, but I did wanna break down some of the stocks that I'm currently invested in, why I chose to invest in them, and kind of my process of how I invest in stocks. Because right now, there's a lot of people posting financial information. I know there's a lot of people, young people, that are getting into the market, which I think is great. I think it's amazing that people at a young age, instead of spending their money on stupid things like designer clothing, shoes, wasting their money on things that's not going to give them long-term wealth, investing in the market is great. But for some reason, I see a lot of people trying to, you know, day trade, trying to make money fast. And I think that's just, I think it's an awful approach to it because I mean there's so much downside I mean you make one bad investment and you have a big lump change in that company I mean there's no telling if that company is going to go back up or not and it's just very it's a very risky play to do day trading um, nobody can predict the market that's why I'm not a huge advocate of day trading that's why I personally don't do it I spend majority of my time on my different businesses, my reselling business on Amazon, um, YouTube, just trying to 
from my different income streams and then instead of having that money sit in my bank account you know not really collecting any interest I put that and spread it across different investments that I plan on holding long term and that's just kind of what I've you know taken from some of the bigger influencers out there after I've read tons of books articles talked to some very high income high level people the stock market is a great play now I know this topic of the stock market is a lot different from what I usually post on my channel so if you actually watched this whole video through first off thank you so much I really do appreciate it drop a like on this video if you liked everything I talked about and if you want to see me talk a little bit more about the stock market maybe how to invest as a beginner or maybe more stocks that I've invested in if you just want to see more content on investing in the stock market please drop a like on this video and feel free to comment below if you have any questions regarding investing I'll try my best to help you along the way once again I'm in no way shape or form you know a financial advisor or an expert investor by any means I've just gathered some different experience over the past couple of years through my different investments so if you do have any basic beginner or even some more intermediate questions about investing in the stock market comment below i'll get back to you as soon as possible and if you guys want to see more content just like this then subscribe to the channel and i'll see everyone in the next video